So about August last year, I made a video predicting how I think the league would have ended, how I thought every team would finish in the league table in the Scottish Premiership. I bet to say I got a few right, I got a few wrong, some way off. But mostly, it wasn't too bad. And we're going to review what I've done in a moment. I'm going to have the graphics on the screen. And we're going to look back on that video. I'm also going to take a look back at some of the comments people left in that video. Because I did make the statement back then uh, about Celtic and Rangers. And where they would finish. And Rangers fans disagreed with me and such. But we'll look at that when it comes to it. We're going to start from the bottom and look how far off I was. Uh, and make our way up to the top of the table. I didn't think it was that bad. There was a few ones, a few, and there was two ones in particular. I thought to myself, right, okay, that was that was a horrible choice to put them there. But um, in general, it wasn't too bad. And we're now going to go and review it because why not? Let's go and react at what I thought the the league table would have finished like. So twelve, I said, would be Hamilton. Hamilton, I wasn't far off. Of course, I was only one off. Now the way this is going to work, this display thing over at the side of the screen, one side of the screen is uh, at the very far left hand side is where I predicted them to finish and uh, to the right hand side of the team's name is uh, where they actually finished and then to the right hand side of that is how far off I was so in case you're confused of how that worked that's how it's working so I predicted Hamilton to finish rock bottom and to be honest was not far off at all obviously they finished 11th getting themselves a place in the relegation playoff Hamilton did not have the best of seasons were very lucky last day it came to they could have went straight down but instead they didn't and it was actually Inverness who finished rock bottom, but I wasn't too far off of Hamilton, and I, I was looking back this morning at things I said about each team, and how right I was about it, and how far off I was about certain teams, I'm going to try my best to spend as little as possible on each team, Hamilton, I said they were going to struggle, I, I, you know, and they did, they, they had a difficult season, they didn't have the best of teams, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't the best of seasons, very inconsistent, but the thing is about the bottom six, for so long it was so close, teams were jumping from six to twelve, from Every week, they would, you know, there was never really a place for them until it got to the last few weeks where Hamilton and Inverness really solidified themselves as the bottom two teams. Hamilton, uh, in the last game of the season, just yesterday, sorry, Saturday, they managed to get a very big win to secure their place at 11th. Uh, but, you know, it was a very, very inconsistent season for them. I mean, they, they beat Rangers at a point, did they know? I don't know, I can't remember. But, geez, oh, aye, they finished 11th anyway. I thought they'd finished 12th, so fair dues, fair dues to Hamilton. They didn't finish bottom. So, for 11th, I predicted Kilmarnock, who actually finished 8th. So, they'd done a little bit better than what I thought they would do. And this was coming off the back of a horrific season that they had two seasons ago now. Well, they finished 11th, they had that relegation playoff match, it was a horrific season, and things did not look as though they were going to go their way, and at the start of the season, they had a complete revamp of their team, they signed 11 new players, it was basically a full start in 11 they signed, and there was really, you know, you didn't know how that, you don't know how that's going to go when a team signs 11 players, you don't know if they're going to work well, you don't know if they're going to, they're going to gel together and have a chemistry, they've never played before, and it's a full new team, uh, and they actually, they done they had, they had a very bad start, they were doing very poor, then Lee Clark left Kilmarnock, and from that point, uh, Kilmarnock got a lot better, and they loaned in Christopher Ayer as well, from Celtic, who, at his early stages at Kilmarnock, I remember a lot of Kilmarnock fans praising him, so that's good to see, but um, they they done a lot better, I thought, and they, they really pulled away from being towards the bottom, and getting a lot of points near the end, uh, they did get beat at the weekend, I think, but they, they did get a lot better as the season went on. They started getting points and Lee McCulloch started picking points up for them as manager. So not too bad finishing 8th. It's a lot better than what I thought they would do in all honesty. So, you know what? I may have I may have underestimated Kilmarnock a little bit. I may have been a little bit harsh to them. But uh, good season for them. If you're a Kilmarnock fan, is that a good season? I don't know. For, for me, uh, the expectation for me was that they were going to be in a very, very bad relegation battle. Could have finished 12th. So for me, I think they had a very good season. So this is one of the, the howlers I made. Uh, Partick Thistle, I said... We're going to finish 10th. What a season they had. What a fantastic season Partick Thistle had. Unbelievable stuff from them. Finishing in the top half. Did not expect it whatsoever at the start of the season. I was looking at other prediction videos and people were along the same lines as me. They're saying Partick Thistle would finish 11th, 12th, 10th, around that area. And it, I did think they would. And they, they had Alan Archibald, hats off to him. What a season they had. And if it wasn't for Brendan Rodgers, they probably would have won the Manager of the Year award. And they had a great season. I mean, they started off incredibly poor as well. I remember the first half of the season, they they were struggling. They were really struggling. And then when it came to January, they just, they were another team. They were fantastic from then on. They started getting a lot of points and well done to them. They got a top half finish. They finished sixth. I predicted they were going to finish 10th. I thought they would be around that relegation zone. But they had a fantastic season. They'd done really well for Partick Thistle. And then, you know, now we get to look at where do they build on for next season? Can they maintain that? Because I mentioned this in my predictions video with the Scottish Premiership. 
it's very weird. It's very, you know, a team can go from finishing fifth one season to being in a delegation battle the next. All it takes is losing a key player. If Partick can hold on to the players they've got, maybe improve a little bit, they could be doing a lot better next season, being along the lines of maybe Hearts and such. But if it comes to the point where if they lose key players, they could be relegated next season for all we know. But a lot to build on for Alan Archibald. A great season and they, they really outdone where I thought they would finish. So hats off to Partick Thistle. Try and speed things up a little bit here. I'm actually going to go through the next three just as kind of a, a joint kind of thing uh, just you know group them together instead of going through them individually just because I want to speed this video up a little bit so for 9th, 8th and 7th I predicted Ross County to finish 9th, Inverness to finish 8th and Dundee to finish 7th so let's start with the obvious one Inverness did not have as well of a season as what I thought they would have they had a Horrible season, absolute horror show of a season. They really struggled and uh, they finished bottom of the table. They're now relegated. They will be in the championship next season. And in all honesty, I don't see them coming right back up. I don't see that happening, especially if Dundee United don't make it up. I think Dundee United will be the ones who go in and, and win that league next season. And with Falkirk as well, who who will probably go for that title as well next season. I don't think Inverness are going to bounce right back up. I think it's going to take them a couple of years or such. But disappointing for them to see them go down. I'm surprised at it, but they, they, didn't ha they didn't start well and they didn't end well. It was just a bad season all round for Inverness. There was a couple of good results for them as well. They drew with Celtic right at the start of the season. The first team to take points off Celtic and the, the only team for until March to take points off Celtic. And you're thinking to yourself, how did they manage to hold us to a 2-0 draw after being 2-0 down and then have such a horrible season? They also then beat Rangers about March time when Graham Murray was manager. And it looked as though, you know, maybe Richie Foran was getting something out of them. Maybe they were going to survive the drop. But no, a horrible season. A horror season for Inverness. And I really feel bad for them considering they managed to get good results out of the likes of Celtic and Rangers. But at the end of the day, it wasn't enough. And they, they, they dropped silly points and that's... That's what it came down to. They, they got a brilliant result in the last game of the season as well. And you've seen that performance. You think, why could they not have performed like that all season? Why could they not have done that against the, the lesser teams then? But they had their chance and they paid for it. They've now been relegated. Unlucky to Inverness. Ross County, I said, we're going to finish ninth. Now, if I quickly check, they actually finished 7th. So they've done better. And I said that. I said that in my predictions video. I said Inver uh, Ross County are the team I think I might be have been a lot harsh to. I think they could do a lot better than finishing ninth. But the thing is, between 7th and 12th, it was still a very tight, you know, tight finish. It wasn't a major difference. But they did finish 7th anyway. Uh, they actually had more points than, than Partick Thistle. So, uh, you know, they had a decent season, Ross County. Liam Boyce, once again, scoring a lot of goals. A great striker. And will we be at Ross County next season? That's the question. Uh, but they they, did, they done well, finishing 7th, doing better on what I thought, so hats off to them as well. And the final team, Dundee, what a collapse they had. Uh, Dundee, Paul Hartley ended up getting the sack during the season. I said they were going to finish 7th, no, they finished 10th. Um, not far off relegation, only 3 points away. And it really went downhill, it just kept getting worse and worse because it was around the first half of the season they were fluttering in the top half and I did think to myself around then they'll probably be the team to finish sixth but no, it just got worse and worse and I think it was a mistake sacking Paul Hartley, I really do and I, I know that he was having a bad time and he wasn't doing well as manager but I feel like he was able to turn that around uh, I think he, would, he wouldn't have got them relegated and I think that it's going to be one of those mistakes they're going to regret going into next season not having him there kind of how like Inverness had with John Hughes um, in my opinion it was a bad mistake to sack John Hughes um, but that was ages ago Paul Hartley now Neil McCann is he going to stay on as Dundee manager maybe maybe not uh, he just got thumped at the weekend there um, but I think it was a bad mistake to sack Hartley, but they finished 10th anyway, not a good season for Dundee, I expected them to do a lot better, and they'll be looking to build next season, they'll be looking to, to do it far better than what they've done this season. So 6th on the table, I predicted St. Johnson, St. Johnson done better than that, they've done a lot better than that, I finished, well not a lot better, but 4th, they finished 4th place, St. Johnson had a really stellar season, really good, really strong, uh, and they done better than expected. I think a, a lot of people would agree with that. They finished above Hearts, uh, which is an accomplishment for them because I think at the start of the season, the talk was that Hearts, Aberdeen, Celtic Rangers will be the top four. But St. Johnson outdone Hearts, um, and that's a good season for them. Tommy Wright doing really well, and, and hats off to him. he done a good job there this season, and that's something to be proud of. Uh, and next season, I guess, once again, it's just trying to get to that level. Can they catch up with Rangers and Aberdeen? Maybe not, probably not, more, most likely with the funding and such that they have. But that is the next step for them. And can they do 
getting a European football again. They have had their chances in the past few years before by winning cups, getting into the qualifying rounds. Can they get back to that level? Maybe, maybe not. But St. Johnson doing better than what I thought. Well done to them. Not finishing six. I was a little bit harsh on them, I think. Um, finishing fifth, I said, it was Motherwell. Motherwell, geez, oh, they, they finished in the top half two seasons ago, and that's why I thought, once again, they were going to finish in the top half. I thought Mark McGee was going to have a really good season. No, he's, he's gone. Mark McGee, no longer Motherwell manager, and I can't even remember the name of the Motherwell manager now, to be honest with you. Uh, but Mark McGee did get the sack, and, and Motherwell did not finish top half. That's what it take away. They finished ninth, in fact, so I was well off with them. Didn't have a strong season, but once again, you know, they had, these teams had really good performances at points, and they just couldn't build on it. I mean, look, they came so close to being the team that beat Celtic. They came so close. Um, they were a ball head away, and they, they just didn't, uh, and it wasn't a strong season. Mark McGee rightfully got the sack. I mean, they got thumped, what was it, 9-0? Or something off Aberdeen. It was something like that. Eight, seven, eight, nil. Something. I don't know. It was a big scored line anyway. Not a strong season for Motherwell, uh, and they were looking to build on that. I suppose just like uh, I was saying about Dundee a moment ago. Fourth place. Then I said it was going to be Hearts and things did not go well for Hearts after Robbie Nielsen left. Did it? It was. They looked as though they were going to be finishing fourth, and honestly, it looked as though they could have been on track to finishing above Rangers. They could have finished third, and, and Robbie Nielsen went uh, down to MK Dons. A stupid decision, in my opinion. I don't. I know, obviously, it comes down to wages, and if you're getting offered double your wages, and you've got to take that move. But in my opinion, moving from one of the bigger reputation, one of the the bigger teams in Scotland and Hearts down to a League One side in MK Dons, where they only got a mid-table finish. I don't think that's, nah, not a career choice that I personally think is the best, but I mean, if it comes down to a lot more wages, then you can see why, but they obviously did appoint Ian Cathro, not the best manager, is he, not not the best, he got a couple of big results as well, he beat Rangers 4-1, Fidel Cathro, the flags are out and all the rest of it, and it just didn't build. He, he didn't build and it just seems like it's been a very poor tenure for Ian Cathro uh, and it looks as though he will be in the job for next season he can maybe bring in his own players now I think that was a disadvantage for him he never really got to make any signings he didn't get to build his own team and maybe with that they'll do a lot better next season but Ian Cathro isn't looking like the right man for the job and a disappointing uh, stretch of the season since Robbie Nielsen left for Hearts in my opinion I don't think they've done well at all uh, and they, they got thumped a few times off Celtic 5-0, 4-0 uh, and then well, it wasn't really thumped yesterday in the 2-0 game, but um, no, not, not that strong for Hearts, not doing as well as I, I expected, because I said in the predictions I think they might finish above Rangers, but no, they were quite a mile off, and they, they finished 5th, uh, which is quite disappointing for them, because I think their aim was to finish in the top 4, but unlucky to Hearts, I suppose, a uh, 5th place finish for them. And now we come to the interesting part, this is the part I've been waiting for, and uh, this is where I got the dog's abuse, this is... This is where I truly did get my critics. And this is back, remember this video I made before I had subscribers, basically. I had 300 subscribers at the time. Now we're coming up for 5,000. I thank you all for that, honestly. Thank you so much for the support. I can't express that enough on the channel. Thank you all for that. And the growth has been crazy since. But I made this video, uh, and it was one of the first videos where I actually started getting a quite a good bit of views. I mean, a 1,000 views at the time for me was, was abnormal. Um, I know a lot of Rangers fans were questioning me. Oh, how the hell are we going to finish third? And I wasn't there. And they were treating it like I was the only person in the world saying they were going to finish third. They still are not good enough to compete with Aberdeen. Rangers, a horrific team. Uh, that's just my opinion. The team, they need to sort it out. And I'm going to react to the, some of the comments in a minute, so I'll come back to all the points picked up by comments. And there's Rangers fans who agree with me, and there's Rangers fans who don't agree with me. Fair enough, it's your opinion. But next season... I still think Aberdeen are going to be the team finishing second. That's a spoiler for when I do my predictions. Rangers had a, a guess for their first season. But if you look at it from the point that it's their first season back in this league, that's very well. If it's if it's not Rangers, you'd be saying, geez, oh, you finished third in your first season back. That's incredible. But it's the fact that such the, the arrogance from fans that they were going to win the league and they were going for 55. And it really was a good laugh for us Celtic fans. It really was. And I think a lot of Rangers fans embarrassed themselves with a lot of things on social media. And that's not every Rangers fan. I've got Rangers fans who come to this channel. And you know who you are. You can, they come to this channel and they're really respectful in the comments. And they, they know what their team is. They know that they're not great just now. And they know that Celtic are the best team in Scotland. They can deal with that. But then you get the fans who are... Entirely stupid by saying that they're, they're going for the league title and all the rest of it. Not in a million years, and I said it at the start, and I say it now. The team is not good enough to be anywhere near Celtic. They're not miles away from Aberdeen, but Aberdeen are still the better team. Still the better team, and unless Rangers make great signings in the summer, which they, they perhaps will, I don't know what Pedro Cajinha's got in plan, but it seems it's going to be very Portuguese-based. 
Um, but, I mean, it was not a good season for Rangers. Uh, they, they lost a lot of embarrassing points. Uh, they, they got thumped at Ibrox 5-1 off of us. They got thumped at Celtic Park 5-1. Uh, and really, they need to they need to improve a lot next season. That is, it's just the reality. Aberdeen are still the better team. I said that at the start. I said they were going to finish second, and they did. Moving on to second, Aberdeen, great season for them, and that is their most points ever. I believe seventy six points they finished on. I believe that is their greatest points tally they've ever had. So a great season for Aberdeen. They didn't get any wins, any points, even off of Celtic this time, uh, which is unusual because for the past however many years Aberdeen have always been taking points off us but we've just been so good this season Celtic we've just been incredible that they, they, they couldn't take them which just is a credit to how good Celtic and Brendan Rodgers has been this season how great Celtic have been but Aberdeen building uh, continuously now that's three years in a row four years in a row now where they've just been getting better and better and better and they are, they are becoming the second they are the, they're not becoming they are the second best team in Scotland and they will be for years for, for another God knows how long. Until Rangers get the backing, the financial backing that they need to build a proper team, Aberdeen will be the second best team in Scotland and they will continue to be the ones closest to Celtic. But this year there was no competition. Was I'm moving on to first? But there was I even need to predict it. Celtic won the league by a country. We had it won by Halloween. It was a fantastic season for Celtic. I'm probably going to do an actual season review for Celtic so I'm not going to go into too much detail but who I, who I imagined it would be as great as it was. Invincible season. No one could touch us, uh, and I got the top three, three out of three, and that was a, that was a, where everybody was criticising me and critiquing me on my choices for top three. But I got it right, and uh, at the end of the day, I, I always thought and always knew it was going to be that as the top three. I did not see the Angels challenging Aberdeen, and they were what nine points away from them. So that's how it finished, isn't it? Celtic champions. Inverness relegated, solid seat, and I think this year has been great for Scottish football, honestly, I keep seeing people on, on, on Twitter, mostly English people, talking obviously about the state of Scottish football, and even the Scottish fans, I've seen a lot of Scottish fans recently talk about how Scottish football is dead, and I, I don't, I can't, I can't agree, I think this has been one of the best years for Scottish football, and I, I, know, I know it's hard to, it may be hard for non-Celtic fans to agree, because that's coming from a Celtic fan who's had the best season Celtic's best season since 1967, <laughs> genuinely, it's been a fantastic season out of this world, but even just in general, I've enjoyed it a lot more, and I don't know if that's just me being biased because we're winning constantly and, and not drop many points, but just everything about Scottish football, I've enjoyed it a lot more, Even get, like I've been watching more on the TV from non-Celtic games as well and just been you know, looking at a lot more, and I think it's been a great year for Scottish football in general, and a, and a good season. Come from a Celtic fan, an outstanding season. Um, if you're not a Celtic fan, let me know how you think it went. Uh, but you might be criticising me now for my points throughout this video. But now let's go and have a little bit of fun. Why not? Let's go and have a look at some of the comments that was left in this video to, to wrap it up. I just want to go and react to to some of the, the, the Rangers fans who thought they would have won the league and stuff at the start of the season. Right, here's the video. We're here. Um, I just, I'm looking back and geez, oh, the, the quality of it. Look how, look how fat that cunt is. Look at him. Not changed a bit, have you? The, I need a haircut. I've got a haircut in that video. Uh, the back of the days where I used my phone to record. Oh, lovely. How nice. I've not. I've moved the camera so far away. Uh, the mic, sorry. So far, so far away. Come back here. Right. So let's have a look. Is Scott Brown going to play this season? Are they still in Andy Halliday's back pocket? Where's Andy Halliday now, mate? Where's Scott Brown? <laughs> Andy Halliday. Fuck. Remember him. Scott Brown. Scottish Premiership Player of the Season. That's where he is. This was left by a man whose profile is based on Tony Hibbert. Jesus. Like right, this like right, this was this is one people were having a right laugh, but this Partick Fissel fans were well what Kevin I said Kevin Dillon at one point during the video. Obviously it's Chris Dillon. I made a mistake with somebody's name and it wasn't drastic. They still both begin with K, that's all that matters. It's Chris Dillon, not fucking Lionel Messi. Calm down, it's not the end of the world. I'll get I'll give you that, you and I'll give you that. I said it's gonna be close. Not close whatsoever, was it? It was it was not close. This is this a top comment this. Haha, ah, Aberdeen, closest challengers. Look how bad they've started the league and look who's top. Won the Jails. Here's how the league table finished. Look who's top. Rangers, Rangers were top for a total of two games. And we had a game in hand over them for the games. Embarrassing. I, 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 that is embarrassing. That, <laughs> this was one I poked a bit of fun at. I just realised there's a Zara Larson video in the side there. Do not judge me. I think Zara Larson's a very good singer. Uh, Rangers will win the league, you dick. I took the mick out of that, that comment in a video after that. Um, uh, they're not, they're not, they've not won the league, have they? This is what I mean with some of the respectable fans. Look at this. Mate, I agree with you about Rangers. I think getting top four will be a successful season so we can get settled back into the league. That's, that's, that's nice. That's respectable. That's, that's a smart person. 
well, well done. You realised that you weren't going to win the league because there was no chance in hell. Oh, well, here's the return of Tony Hibbert. That's it. I feel like I removed a lot of comments, but, um, you know, that was a successful season for Celtic. Uh, and uh, good good laugh. It's a good laugh, wasn't it? But, guys, if you've enjoyed this, I was about to take the headset off there, and I didn't. That seemed incredibly awkward. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I will be predicting next season when it comes around and such. But that's our season done. Uh, so, aye, until next season, enjoy. I'm not going to be disappearing. I'll be here during the summer. Don't worry. I'll, I'll still be here. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.